Hi, and I'm back, and as you can see, my dare turned in to be pretty bad. It's like an orange when it's supposed to be like a fuchsia pink. <laughs> but I went through with it. Um, D'Angelo did his hair red, and well, mine turned out to be orange. I'm going to have to do it some other color afterwards. <laughs> I don't think it looks good on me. Anyway, what I wanted to talk to you today about was the fact that, you know, I find my son doesn't show me respect. And I wrote a letter to him stating, you know, that if you treat me badly and stuff, I'm not going to help you out with your smokes and stuff anymore. Like, simple as that. Like, I've been enabling him too long. My own fault. <laughs> but, you know, what can you do? Anyway, Alexis will be coming home tomorrow. I'm always excited when she gets home. Because, you know, <laughs> I haven't seen her in a few days, so I have time to miss her. Anyway. Other than that, uh, everything is going okay. I'm waiting this week. I'm not sure what day it is that they're going to call me for counseling. But I'm looking forward to starting that. Um, I need to get some kind of counseling because, you know, it's it's crazy. I guess the how he acts too kind of breaks my heart too, you know. Like I do so much for him and... He can't just treat me like a friend, you know? Like, treat me just like any other friend. Um, hopefully, I'll stop this thinking and enabling that I've been doing, you know? If I take care of his cigarettes and getting him whatever he wants, usually. Uh, tonight he flipped out saying, oh, you're supposed to get me a phone. I never agreed to pay for a phone for him. I'm not rich. I'm on income assistance. I don't make that much. And I have to take care of a seven-year-old. I told him that I would always, I'll come once a week. I'll bring you a bag of food. You know, I'll always help you out with food. But things have to change. And you can't be treating me badly all the time like that. It's not right. I treat him really good. Um, but... It all has to do with me enabling him too. Like, you know, even with his behavior, you know, uh, I still gave him cigarettes and, and stuff, you know, so I'm not really sticking to my grounds. So, this is what I'm going to do. I will let you guys know how it goes, and uh, I'm pretty sure that it will go well. Um, it might be tough at first, you might get angry, and so on, but it's something I have to do. Uh, you know, I can't reward bad behavior, and I'm trying to work my best at my daughter as well, and try not to make the same mistakes I made, you know, with uh, D'Angelo. And I know I'm the pushover, and I probably will always be the pushover, <laughs> but what can you do? It's just part of me. I, I, I like to just love my kids to death, so to speak. <laughs> um, but I'm always looking forward to her coming home because I miss her so much. Even if she's just gone for a day, it's too long for me. <laughs> um, but her father does do a good job, like, as far as financially. Like, he gets her what he, whatever she wants, you know, and stuff. Um, I think that's more kind of like buying someone's love. And I found out that never works. <laughs> uh, I just spoil them with love <laughs> and not objects because objects are nothing. You know, if you don't have love and uh, understanding and being able to feel comfortable to talk to your child uh, and your child to talk to you. So she's comfortable with talking to me about anything. Like, and she knows I'm not going to judge her or anything like that. But she does know there's rules. And there are rules in my house. Um, there's nothing like what happens with D'Angelo not picking up after himself and stuff. Uh, that's some things that, you know, I didn't, I, I did everything for him.
So it really didn't give him a chance to do anything on his own and, and to learn right. And that's my fault there. And uh, there's nothing I can do to correct that. But I can correct my daughter. And it sounds crazy, but I'm glad that her father is very disciplinary in certain ways. Um, I don't always agree with how he does it, but um, she listens to him and she respects him. So, you know. So, um, I try to do things more and there's times that, you know, there was a time that I let him go off on me, probably about a year ago or so. Uh, I let him go right off for like 10 minutes. I cried the whole time, but I, I listened to everything he said and his opinion on everything. And I figured maybe he just got to let it out, you know, and maybe he will be less anger towards me or something, you know, because I don't really do anything to piss him off. Like, he just doesn't agree with some of my things that I do parenting, maybe? I don't know, but... Anyway. I wish that he knew how good of a mom I really am. Like, he never had the time to really get to know me that way because of him putting his hands on my child when he was 13. Uh, 12, whatever, almost 13. So... It kind of went downhill from there. I, I, I let him stay around for the pregnancy and the birth and everything, even though he didn't make it in time, and I felt so bad because he cried about that. But he was coming out, whether he liked it or not, you know? But I would just love to hear once him say to me, like, Thank you for having such a beautiful little girl for me, you know, like, and making me a dad. Like, just to know that instead of hearing, you know, well, I wish I didn't have it with you. And it was crazy, but I said this thing. I said, I felt like a lobster. And I told my sister this, and it was funny, because later on in life, she, she got to a point in her relationship after she had kids that she felt like that for a short while. And it was, I said, I feel like the lobster. It's like now the meat's gone out of me, which is, was the baby. And now I'm just the empty, stinky shells that you want to throw out in the garbage as quick as you can so they don't stink up your house. <laughs> I didn't know that sounds so hilarious, but that's exactly how I felt, you know? And... Uh, I just want to hear him say, you know, thank you for having such a beautiful little girl for us, you know. The thing is, if he had have had that child with someone else, it wouldn't be the child that it is today. And she is just precious, and I wouldn't change anything about her. She's perfect to me. Um, she has my attitude. She does have that. Which I hope that she'll always keep. I want her to be able to stick, stand up for herself uh, when anybody ever like tries to put her down or, or anything. I want her to stand up and say, no, you're not going to treat me like this. And that's it. Plus, she'll have her dad. Her dad will like kick their butt. <laughs> I'm sure. Um, anyway, other than that, um, he had a good time in Halifax. And uh, I saw his vlog, so they look really good. Um, he enjoyed himself. My brother's doing a good job there. And I, I really appreciate my brother for doing these and my sister. And paying to get him up there, hopefully once a month. Uh, he needs to become more responsible about his things and not wait to the last minute, of course. But, um, I don't know, maybe he learned from this experience there. Like, it was very stressful trying to get money to him and, and everything and everything working out. But it did with my help and other people's help. We made it okay. Now, hopefully, you know, my sister got him a bike. That was really great. It's a nice bike, too. And, uh, so, you know, it's a start. And I know that I can't, like, get his phone right now, but... You, you know, or help him out with the phone right now. Uh, but, you know, there's always next month. You know, I'll be able to put some more in and you'll have more money to yourself after you paid 
um, Pam back the hundred dollars you owed her and that she lent you and uh, thirty dollars towards the ticket just to show responsibility but I guess it's basically it's time for it to grow up now for him and he's 20 years old and uh, he's a wonderful child and he's a really great friend I've seen that in him with his other friends he's a very true friend and uh, I hope one day that he can treat me and make me feel like that friend too and in order to do that, I do have to cut him off with things like not getting, giving him cigarettes and, and so on or any extra money whatsoever for anything. Just, you know, but I, I told him I'll always help you out with food. Always. So, that promise I will keep even if I could put it on his doorstep and ring the doorbell. <laughs> but there's a lot of rules. He can't be freaking out like he did before in front of Alexis or anything like that because then he won't be allowed over here when Alexis is here because I won't be able to trust him. And that was the whole reason why he is living somewhere else because that happened once and that was enough for me. It only happened once and I said, you got to get your own place. And now he's out on his own. But I'm proud of him no matter what he does. Uh, I love my children with all my heart and sometimes I guess you got to be tough with them so I'm working on that uh, nobody's perfect and it would be pretty boring if everybody was perfect <laughs> anyway um, show me some more support there I've got like seven subscribers so far um, hoping that I can get more uh, support more people that maybe can comment and give me some advice on this thing that with Leo um, harassing me um, <clears throat> or stalking me uh, and maybe even with my son and I do know what I gotta do I just gotta do it and be tough and strong and stick my ground and keep my word and, you know it's the only way that he's going to grow up and learn on his own, right? So, hopefully this will bring us closer and not further away. <laughs> um, anyway, like and subscribe uh, to my channel and show me your support and your comments and advice if you, if you want. Uh, so, like and subscribe again and have a great day. Bye.